In the following lecture, we're going to try and solve uh, for lattice enthalpy of PAS, and we're going to try and draw a poor neighbor cycle. Uh, you're given uh, the standard enthalpy change of formation of BAS. Uh, you're also given the standard enthalpy change of atomization of BA. Uh, with the enthalpy change of atomization of S is known, and the electron affinity of sulfur atom and of the sulfur ion all given. So we're going to try and uh, construct uh, the born haber cycle. So I'm going to start off with the standard enthalpy of uh, formation, which is that one mole of BAS, which is an ionic compound, so it's probably a solid, one mole of this ionic lattice is formed from its constituent uh, elements, which are barium, it's a metal, group 2 metal, so it's uh, solid, plus the other element is sulfur, which is uh, also a solid in its standard state. So one mole of a substance is formed from its constituent element and this over here is your this arrow or this reaction the energy change of this reaction represents the enthalpy change of formation of BAS so we have done uh, so that we're going to start uh, start off with BAS now I'm going to try and create another path uh, to go from barium solid and sulfur solid and all the way to this ionic compound and construct a born Haber cycle so starting off with the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to try and convert barium solid into gaseous barium atoms. Sulfur on the other hand remains as it is. So in this small step barium solid is getting converted into gaseous barium atom and this is the enthalpy change of atomization. You had barium atoms all uh, metallically bonded to each other. Now I'm breaking all the bonds and forming gaseous scattered barium atoms. So the enthalpy change of atomization of barium that's uh, with us, this is this arrow over here is delta H atomization of PA. And the value is also known, it's uh, over here, uh, it's 180 kilojoules. So let's uh, write down the value as well, it's 180 kilojoules per mole. For enthalpy of formation, the value was minus 416, and let's put that in there as well. The next step is, now you have uh, sulfur solid, uh, so all of them joined together, bonded to each other. I need to get sulfur atoms, gaseous atoms, scattered gaseous atoms. I need to break all the bonds, so that is what I'm going to do in the next step. So it's going to be, it's going to be, uh, barium remains as it is in gaseous state and sulfur is converted into gaseous atoms so this is your enthalpy change of atomization of sulfur and this value is also known one mole of gaseous sulfur atoms are formed from its constituent element so enthalpy change of atomization of sulfur and the value is plus 270 9 kilojoules per mole now moving on you have gaseous atoms now and we need to form this ionic lattice so we need to form ions so barium needs to lose two electrons to form a two plus ion sulfur needs to gain two electrons to form a two minus ion so in the next steps we are going to do exactly that so barium ends up losing two electrons to form gaseous barium ions and those two electrons are lost sulfur is in is in gaseous state so nothing happens to it so let's label this arrow it's first plus the second ionization energy of barium and the value is uh, you can find the value of this in the data booklet and it's given as 503 kilojoules per mole that's the first remember barium is in group 2 so you have to remove two electrons from the gaseous atom and the second is given as 965 kilojoules per mole so these are your these are the two values for barium's uh, first and second ionization energy so now barium has lost two electrons uh, it is two plus ion sulfur now needs to gain those two electrons to form a sulfur two minus ion so so let's do that now uh, so barium is as it is two plus gaseous ion and now sulfur ends up gaining two electrons to form sulfur, two minus gaseous ion. And this over here is your first electron affinity. 
plus the second electron affinity of sulfur. Sulfur was neutral, it ends up gaining two electrons. So it's the electron affinity of sulfur atom, which is minus 200, then sulfur minus one ion gains another electron. So, so it's going to be the sum of these two values. And uh, so let's write down the values. This is the electron affinity first plus second for sulfur. So it's minus 200. Remember the first electron affinity is always exothermic. So it's minus 200 and then 640 for the second electron affinity. So that's 640. And the last step is this step over here is your lattice enthalpy. This is the unknown uh, value that needs to be found out. You know all the other values, all the other parts are, the energy uh, enthalpy changes are known, except for lattice energy, and you have to find the lattice energy of barium sulfate. Lattice energy is when gaseous ions get together to form one mole of ionic lattice. So this value needs to be found. Uh, applying Hess law, which is that one path, the energy changes of one path are equivalent to the energy changes of the other path. So, so this path in red, enthalpy of formation, it's minus 460. It's going to be equivalent to the sum of the enthalpy changes of this other path. So if you sum up all these values, they should be equal to minus 460. And that is what I'm going to do now. Uh, so it's going to be minus 460. And I'm going to sum all the other values. So it's 180. Then I'm going to sum uh, 279. Followed by 503, which is the first ionization energy, and 965, which is the second ionization energy, followed by the two electron affinities, which are minus 200 and plus 640. And then you have lattice energy, LE. So, what you're going to do is you have this now in equation form one path, energy changes of one path are equal to the energy changes of the other path. So now we're going to try and solve for lattice enthalpy using my calculator. I'm going to try and figure out what the value of lattice enthalpy is going to be. Be very careful with the signs and with all the calculations over here. A lot of people make a lot of mistakes, so be very careful. Uh, so trying to solve the lattice enthalpy now. And the value I'm getting is minus, uh, minus 287. 287. 27 kilojoules per mole. So this is the value of lattice enthalpy that I get. And so be careful with the calculation. One way to check whether the lattice enthalpy fits uh, is a logically uh, uh, good value. Your answer is correct. One way to check that is it is always going to be exothermic. So make sure you get a negative sign. If you're getting a positive sign, that means you probably did something wrong with the calculations. So it is always going to be a negative sign uh, and the value would be in the range of 1,000 to 3,000. So if the lattice is very strong, the value is going to be higher, around 3,000. So uh, BAS is going to have a strong lattice because BA2 plus and S2 minus, they are going to have a strong force of attraction. They have very high charge density. So due to the higher charge density, there's more attraction. Uh, more attraction means stronger bonds formed, so it's more exothermic. So this value looks a suitable value.